Hey YouTube, Shukun Shobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Wizard DX Wizard Ring Cho Magic Battle Set. Cho being super, but I'm sure we're all used to that by now. Now this has the Finish Strike Wizard Ring and the Final Strike Wizard Ring. Uh, belonging to Wizard and Sorcerer in the Kamen Rider Wizard in Magic Land film that aired this summer. Uh, started last August. So, pretty cool looking rings. Uh, nothing else in this box. It's just kind of a big box for no reason whatsoever. But let's go ahead and get it open and take a look. And here we have the two wizard rings out of the package. Now, just like most kick strike rings and special and thunder and blizzard and everything like that, these do have slightly different sounds based upon which form you're currently in. Now, I'm not going to show all the forms, but I'll show an example of the kinds of changes that you'll expect by going into different forms. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, this is the Finish Strike Wizard Ring, uh, which basically turns Infinity into Infinity Dragon, hence the dragon on there. Um, and it's a really cool ring. It, it takes the things I really liked about Special Rush and kind of amplifies it. It makes it a nice, beautiful gold color. Kind of wish it was a little bit deeper of a gold instead of a mustardy gold, but uh, still looks very nice. The Infinity Jewel right here is nice crystal clear, while the ones around it are just painted. And the uh, Wizard Dragon's wing segments are colored appropriately as well. So it looks really cool, and I really dig what they did with it. Um, and it's probably one of my favorite uh, designed Wizard Rings, just because it represents basically everything that Wizard is. An overpowered little dude. I refrained from other words. And then the final strike wizard ring is one that Sorcerer uses. Looks a lot like the uh, uh, the the one that he uses to summon the wizard dragon. But it's uh, really cool. This big giant red ruby in the middle with dragon wrapping around it. Uh, very, very cool overall. Nice mix of silver and gold right there. So pretty neat. I really dig what they did with this one too. Alright, so let's take a look at the finish strike wizard ring as soon as you turn it on. Now if you have a normal uh, wizard form active, So it'll play that element sound at the beginning and glow that respective color in the middle as it's doing the attack. And finally, if you have a dragon form initiated, So you get the appropriate colored LED at the start and the finish, the element sound at the beginning, and a dragon roar at the end. Now since this is meant to be used with uh, Wizard Infinity style, let's go ahead and check that out too, even though the sound won't really be too much different. So lots of pretty colors, but you get the general idea of things. So now let's take a look at the final strike wizard ring in here.
That one, like most of uh, Common Rider, what? Nope. That one, like most of White Wizard's rings, just read the origin, and that's it. So let's check out the White Wizard driver. And start with the Final Strike Wizard Ring, since that's his, well, belongs to this driver anyway, it's Sorcerer's, not his, but... And just like the Wizard Driver, Finish Strike works in here and has the same sort of application. Take a look at when change is activated. And just to show the same thing applies. And of course these work with the wizard sword gun as well. So overall, these rings are absolutely fantastic. If you're a Kamen Rider Wizard fan, even if you haven't seen the movie, I definitely recommend picking these up. Like the attack rings that I've came with the dragon sets, these have a lot of playability because they make slightly unique sounds depending on what form you're in, whether you're in a normal form, whether you're in a dragon form, whether you're in infinity. So it really, there's just so much playability in these rings in terms of creating sounds that it's quite a bit to work with. Plus, they look really cool. Some of the coolest uh, magic wizard rings that we've gotten so far, in my opinion. Uh, and they're just really unique in the gold color. It look really cool. And obviously, just being a double ring set is pretty affordable. And not really that big of a money breaker. Um, as far as I know, these haven't been in any capsule or candy toy sets. And probably aren't announced for any since those are kind of winding down. But anyhow, definitely worth the pickup. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.